the browser here in Jet Reports is a really cool tool for reporting because it lets me do really quick drag and drop reporting. So when I click browser on the Jet ribbon, I get this confirmation box that tells me right I'm going to be working from my NAV2017 training database. I'm currently connecting to the company called Trainer2017 and the keywords that we'll be using in this example are Rose Records. Now there are other variations and there's another video already showing you how to work with the keyword table. Here we use Rose Records and if you look on the left hand side I've got a list of all the tables available to me. So it will search as I type. So if I click it'll then search as I type. So if I type in customer it'll narrow things down as I'm typing find the customer table. Okay. Now this then reveals on the field side, in the right hand side, all of the fields available from that table. Now to start myself off really quickly, simply click from the left hand side and drag onto my Excel workbook, let go and what we then see is it's created the start to my report for me. So it's added in the auto and the hide. Auto is the command or keyword that tells Excel this workbook has jet functionality and hide has the effect of hiding column A and row one. We see as default what it's done is when I dragged onto the workbook, it's dragged in an NL rows connector and it's going to give me, as a result of this, one row for each record that we find in the customer table. It's also put a hide in so that's kept away from viewers at runtime. So to go with this and actually do something useful, I then need to go from the right hand side and I can drag and drop and it will create NFs for each of the fields that I wish to see. So for example, if I click type and it'll search side type, so there's name, if I drag name across, put it on the same row, that's important. It puts in both the NF function, so here's the NF that's going to be pulling data from G10, which is where my NL rows is, and it'll be returning the values name. And it gives a, a header for that section. So if I continue and I say well, actually I want number as well. I also want the city they're coming from. And I'd like to see their balance. So there's balance LCY, drag that across. So now if I just close the browser, we can see for each of the NFs it's also pulled in a fit keyword, which is the same as auto fit where you double click the columns to auto adjust the width. If I now refresh this, we've got a report that's got the name, number, city and balance for the customers in this company. That gives me a quick starting point. I could then continue by perhaps going up to the NL function wizard and applying a quick filter that says, right, I actually only want to see them if they've got a balance that's not zero. When I tab the move, move off, as long as the values have gone on the right hand side, they've been accepted, I say OK. Things update here and if I refresh, I've now got my customers and just the ones that have a balance. And because we're using an NL rows now, not an NL table, I've got the drill down available on each of the rows. So if I wish to, I can click the drill down and it'll then either open up nav and then it'll open up this particular record in nav or it'll open up the jet data grid, depending on which option I've chosen in my data source settings. Mine's currently set to open up nav. So it'll pop open nav and it will then pop out the customer's page filtered down to the record I was actually on. If I want to change that behavior, I can do so in data source settings, drill down and just change it to use the jet data grid, for example. So back in design mode. So as a recap, the browser is a really useful tool for quick drag and drop reporting and I can build my report up in sections. I can go from the left hand side, the tables list, pick a table, drag it onto the workbook and it will come through as an NL rows for that particular table. That'll make the connection for me. 
and then on the same row I can drag fields from the right hand side from the field list they will come on as NF functions connecting back to my NL rows and it will also do the basic formatting for me with the hide, the fit and the auto.